Hello, in this uh, video I'm going to show how to do derivation 2.6 LRS 129. So we'll start with show conclusion. The conclusion is a sentence letter. Uh, unless we know we don't need it, we should make an assumption. We don't know that we don't need it, so we should make an assumption. We can't make a conditional assumption because we're not trying to show a conditional, so we should instead make an indirect assumption. So assume ID, not S. Now let's haul in our premises. And is there a premise 5? There is not. So we've got all the premises. So now we want to look and see, okay, what can we make happen with this? Well, we see that 2 uh, is the antecedent of line 6, right? Uh, 6 is a conditional, antecedent is not S, so we can apply modus ponens with 2 and 6. And hey, look, it turned out making that assumption was probably good because it got us to R. Now we want to see, okay, does R interact with any of our previous sentences? Well, 4 and 5 are conditionals. They're consequent. The consequent of each is negation R. So for MT with both 4 and 5, we need negation and negation R. We, can, we need double negation R, and we can get that from uh, R itself. So now we have what we need for MT. So we can say 4, 8, MT, and 5, 8, MT, and we have not P, and we have not Q. Good. So now we want to say good, good. Now let's see if we can use not P or not Q. Can we? We look around, we see, oh, there's line 3, it's a disjunction. Uh, what rule works with disjunctions? MTP. Right? If you want to make a disjunction, you use addition. If you already have a disjunction, you want to use MTP. What do we need for MTP? We need not P or we need not Q. We have both of them, an embarrassment of riches. So we can say 3, 9, MTP, and what are we going to get? Q. What can we do with Q? Well, hey, that contradicts line uh, 10. So we have an indirect derivation. Derivation is done. So this is just a matter of making being sure to make that uh, initial assumption and working through our rules until we get to a contradiction. Um, so this is a pretty straightforward derivation once you see I made the assumption, I made the right assumption, and I just need to keep using my elimination rules assisted by rules like double negation until I get to a contradiction. And there we go. There it is.